look at this picture carefully. Uh, do you see yourself in here? Have you ever now wanted to get off the couch? You just want to put those covers up and pull them up and not get out, let the world go by without you today? And that's okay. It's okay to get off the merry-go-round for a while. I call this self-isolation or clinically agoraphobia. Uh, self-isolation, we tend to self-isolate ourselves. Uh, we just want to stay on the couch. We don't leave the house. We don't want to see anybody. We don't want to socially relate with anybody. Uh, we don't answer the phone. Uh, and if that goes on for weeks and weeks and weeks, it may, it, it, that, that's serious. Uh, that it, you, it could be clinically agoraphobia, where it's harder and harder to get out of that mode. So it's important to, uh, to realize that if you've been an extended period of time under the covers uh, to call somebody and get help, get, get, get out of the house, just if you can for a moment, just to, well, you need the, the sunlight on your face. You need to breathe. Uh, when we're staying under the covers, we're not breathing and, and we become hypoxic and God, we need breath, breath, breath. Uh, you hear me talk about one thing all the time is breath, breath, breath. We need to breathe. And when we're under the covers, we just don't breathe well. We breathe shallow intercostally with our ribs and not our diaphragm. And uh, can, that can acerbate and even lead to uh, depression uh, by being hypoxic and then we're probably not drinking enough water. And so know that self-isolation is normal sometimes. You, know, you just don't want to go to the grocery store. You don't want to see anybody. I used to grocery stop, go, go grocery shopping in a town 20 miles away so I wouldn't have to uh, have to deal with anybody. I could go to a shop and get my stuff done and leave, not worrying about having to explain myself or have well-wishers come up when, and, and want to talk to me and, and give me compassion and I appreciate it, but sometimes I don't have the strength to even receive it. Uh, so we can be fickle in our grief because sometimes we comply and no one uh, really addresses our grief and yet sometimes we, uh, we're kind of giving off uh, a radar of don't come near me. Uh, so uh, know that that comes and goes. Well, we need people and we don't need people. Ultimately, we are herd animal. We need people in our life. So uh, if you find yourself on the couch too long or isolating too long, please reach up and pick up that phone. Uh, and communicate with somebody.